So can the U.S. deliver the heavy weapons? The U.S. has contributed, I think, nearly $2 billion in aid, militarily, economic, uh, since this war began. Can the U.S. be doing more? The most important thing right now is the weapons, weapon systems, the weapons they need. They need to have stingers and the javelins, but they also need anti-aircraft uh, uh, capabilities. They need anti-missile capabilities. They need anti-tank uh, capabilities. There's a lot of weapon systems, the weapons they need. We have to bring these weapons uh, to get the weapons to the Ukrainians, to move these weapon systems, to deliver those weapon systems, make sure that the Ukrainians are getting the weapons with uh, anti-missile capabilities, Patriot missiles, the S-300s, the S-400s, weapon systems. Additional aircraft, as many weapons as necessary to provide weapons, so sophisticated weapons, whatever possible weapons can be provided. Undisclosed conflict of interest. He works at a firm whose clients include Raytheon, the second largest military contractors in the world. The most important thing right now is the weapons. We should arm the Ukrainians. Providing weapons, providing supplies, defenses to arm with weapons, with ammunition. We have to simply do more. To do something more. To do more. We will have to do more. More direct involvement of some kind will be inevitable. More arms, more and more. More and more pressure for us to do more and more by way of supplying weapons, arms. Undisclosed conflict of interest. He's on the board of directors at Lockheed Martin, the largest military contractor in the world. Arm the Ukrainians. Anti-tank. Get them armed drones. We need to make sure that we get them air defense systems. And ammunition. Lots of ammunition. Whatever we can get them, we're going to have to continue to arm the Ukrainians. Undisclosed conflict of interest. She's the chair of the BAE Systems Board of Directors. And by the way, I've been always for us to update and modernize our, our nuclear arsenal. That's important. We need to continue to flow weapons. Flow the weapons. They need missiles. Anything they ask for. We need to get the weapons. Weapons systems. Heavy weapons. Weapons. We ought to be giving them anti-ship anti missiles. 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 Combat chads. Good fighter. Ammo. Howitzers. Plenty of firepower. Everything. Tanks. 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 The javelin. Get those weapons. Weapons systems. The S-300 is a good start, but boy, have we got better kit than that to offer, frankly. Patriot, that additional offensive capability. These are systems, missile defense systems. Order now. The weapon systems, weapons, shopping list. We've got a lot of systems. Weapon system, additional combat power, those weapons, missiles, weapons. Undisclosed conflict of interest. He's an advisory board member of a firm with Raytheon on its client list. There's going to have to be increased sending of stingers, increased sending of weapons. And on top of those uh, weapons, more and more sophisticated weaponry. Over and over again, as we give the Ukrainians more advanced systems or surface-to-air missiles, we've, of course, been providing them offensive weapons, stingers and offensive weapons, javelins, javelins with surface-to-air missiles, weapons, anti-ship missiles, drones, tanks, tanks. The Ukrainians are going to need those more sophisticated weapon systems. Need surface-to-air missiles and air defenses, counter-rocket, counter-artillery, counter-mortar, counter-missile, surface-to-air missiles the billion dollars of more security assistance. That's what the way the world is going to have to go in responding. Undisclosed conflict of interest. His client list includes Raytheon. We're going to have to engage in a long, indirect war. This is World War 2.5. World War 2.5. It'll last for a very long time. Well, what the U.S. should be doing is more of what we are doing, which is we need to be supplying as much as we possibly can. Munitions like anti-tank javelin missiles, shoulder-fired missiles, small munitions. Undisclosed conflict of interest. She's on the board of military contractor Booz Allen, and her firm's client list includes Boeing. Aircraft. We should also be trying to get them some more planes and some aircraft to fly. There's talk right now of the U.S. giving Poland some air fighter jets so that Poland can give those MiGs that the Ukrainians know how to exactly. use. The volume of weapons, armor operations, armored vehicles by the hundreds, these weapons are exactly what, what they needed and what we have been talking about uh, for a couple of weeks our, ourselves. Undisclosed conflict of interest. He was the longtime chairman of AM General. We're going to have to find uh, ways to keep that equipment rolling. Let's do more. More? We need to get more. Uh, more of what we've been giving. We should have been pouring more and more. Providing them with uh, aircraft. Provide aircraft. Provide long-range artillery. They need much more. More heavy weapons. More armor. More tanks. More everything. Anti-aircraft. More anti-aircraft. More stingers. More javelin. Anything else we can provide them. And I would include anti-ship missile capability. Surface-to-air missile. More of the same. Keep pouring in the uh, air. 
air defense systems that we have and the Stinger missiles, the Javelin armed UAVs, deploy armed UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles that are armed, more of that needs to be done. Start going on the offense. I would intensify and try to kill as many as I possibly can. Undisclosed conflict of interest. His client list includes Lockheed Martin, the largest military contractor in the world. I want, uh, I'm sure just like you, uh, want to see as many weapons as possible. Yeah, I was just going to say, I couldn't agree with you more. Sending in the weapons, it's not going to be enough. Maybe it's time, as the commercial says, to send the very best and start sending in U.S. weapons. Weapons that will be constantly coming their way. A thousand missiles a day. Like, this isn't the end. We're going to keep this spigot open here and keep flowing arms, many uh, powerful weapons. And what I think we're settling into is is going to be a, a long uh, war. This isn't going to be a, a war that's measured in months, but, but likely years. This war will continue to go on. This war is something that will likely go on for, for months, if not years ahead. And Vladimir Putin would love nothing more than our tension to get diverted. So staying focused on this front and center is, is our obligation here in the media.